me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing 6 foot 9 inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's great is ridiculous. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. The reach, how on earth are they going to get through that jab? This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. This is one of my favorite venues. Get the right fight, you got a night of fun. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. We're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. On her right. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Nice counter shot. They both want the knockout. Counter shot with the right hand. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. For a fighter walking into a theater, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in a gym because the people are up close. You can hear people talking ringside. You can hear people jeering, saying how good you are, saying how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is up. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Here we go, it's round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He threw the hook. Didn't land. Punch, counter punch.
rest for the weary. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. You find the swarm, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. the advantage so far but how does this match get turned around dominance without a doubt meg looks so so easy bell rings and we start the third coming off that fantastic last round let's see if he can keep his momentum going catch and shoot with the left counter good job have no respect for each other's punching power. No rest for the weary. Left counter scores. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter punching, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move. That every time. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Oh, that punch. Nice job landing that left counter punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot. After what we saw in that last round, it's... On to the fourth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. much firepower here. Good counter punching. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. They should be. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. He is down big time on the score. The bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. That left counter was perfectly timed. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Exchange.
exchanges from both men in this round. Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. Plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry, get him frustrated, make him deviate away from the plan. Not many of the people. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Here we go in the sixth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. And he misses with the left uppercut. Counter shot lands. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. A couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. with the right counter. Good punch. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. There's no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Here we go. It's round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Great counter right hand there. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the practice to relax. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So much firepower here. Good counter punching for both these fighters. Why aren't they defending? And a counter left. Good punch. Nice counter shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The perfect counter lands. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter punch. Beautiful counter shot. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? 
I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Good counter right hand again. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Good counter punch. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Good counter left hand there. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up... Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Perfect counter shot. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fagin or pickpocket. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That left counter punch will score. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these athletes. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. This is the 10th. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Here's a counter shot. That one will count. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. They both want the knockout. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out then. Let's start 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. Thought we were going to see the finish there. There's 
no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Hard, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Good left counter that lands. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He misses with that jab. They exchange punches. Marciano fighting to survive. Do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. Can make or break a fighter. Thought we would have made it to 12. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle. Man. He's got a. He's got a bluff. Him. Beautiful counter punch. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. And that may just do it. He is not moving. What a shot that put him down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. dominant performance and it shows up on the judges scorecards as a unanimous decision victory unanimous you know what smart smart that is a total change of styles to make sure they got it at every round in the bag there was no argument no discussion no mistake it was so obvious